Hi, what's up everyone and welcome to another Division 2 video. I am very excited to share this with you today because we've worked so hard on getting you this video done and I hope you enjoy it. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to get the secret hunter mask that is a part of the Paradise Lost new incursion on the Division 2. It's called the Right Mask and I'll tell you what, right away how to get it. You basically got to complete the incursion without any downs with your squad. If you think about Division 1, when they used to have their flawless sort of rewards, you can never go down. And in the Division 2, they allowed you to go down but not unconscious. It's kind of like an Easter egg in a way because they've gone back to the Division 1 ways and you've got to complete an incursion with no downs for a very good reward. And that's this Hunter Mask. So that's how you do it. And where we've worked very hard is... We have created a strategy for you that you can use now to get this done. Now, I wouldn't try this without being very familiar with the incursion first. I did a complete guide of this incursion, kind of gave you a blueprint of it, explaining it all to you the other day. Do check out that video before doing this if you're not used to the incursion yet, because you're going to want to be used to it. Now, in this video, I'm going to be giving you a strategy and builds that we use to get it done, and it'll be much more briefer than that video, assuming that you know more about the incursion. So just bear that in mind. And one final disclaimer before we do get going. I am well aware of the cheese method on the final boss. I'm well aware you can one-shot bosses as well. I don't use cheese methods in guides because they may get fixed in the future. And where's the fun in that? And also the one-shot bosses, I don't think is intended that you're meant to be able to do it that way. So just in case they ever change that, I don't want to be showing you that either. This strategy should work now and in the future. And it's only going to get better when we create more builds around it and make it even more easier. So let's get into the builds we're going to be using in this incursion for this no-down run. You will want to do this in a team of four and your team only needs three builds to get this method down. Starting with this healer build, one person is going to be the healer and this future initiative healer is perfect. Mask, chest, holster and knees all with repair skills on. BTSU gloves as well for an overcharge at times for skills. And then you've got the Alps backpack and you'll want to make sure it's got opportunistic on it. Roll repair skills on it as well. Opportunistic... So opportunistic is going to give a lot of extra damage that's going to be needed. The primary weapon uses Scorpio. This is needed. And ignore my secondary here. I actually don't have it on my PC account. But you want a lefty. You want perfect sledgehammer because you're going to be using grenades to increase damage as we go. The specialization here. I don't know why I've got grenade launcher. Switch that to specialize. Um, so the survivalist if you want. That'll give you some better heals. And you're going to have the restorer hive and the chem launcher for the most part. But if we switch out as we go, I will let you know. The next build that you are going to use with your squad is a DPS build. Everyone else will be using this. And the striker build is perfect. We've got striker mask, backpack, gloves, and chest, all with crit damage rolls, all with crit damage mods there, apart from the gloves, obviously. A grupo holster with crit chance, crit damage. Fox's Pred Knees with crit damage. And then if you can, if you got a hold of it, the new exotic Ouroboros is absolutely perfect for this build. It damage the target out of cover on it. It's not needed. It is going to help though. But you can use the St. Elmo's if you want on this build or any other hard hitting god as long as you're doing a ton of damage. It is going to be fine. But I highly recommend using this if you have it. And as a secondary, I do like having something for a bit more range like the ACR, which I'm using. I only really use this once and that's on the turret at the start, but it's very, very handy grenade launcher specialization will soak up a explosion every now and then so that's quite handy and for the skills revive hive isn't going to be needed as you're not aiming to go down uh, use decoy use striker drones use scanner pulses i'll explain as we go what skills we kind of switch in and out of and the final build you're gonna use for one boss only which is the third boss and someone will switch to this and this is probably not the best build at all it's all i had on my pc account but i wanted a tank build so you want a very good tank build uh this is just four piece true patriot yeah on the mask backpack gloves and knees we've got perfect vanguard on the chest which we do use and i've got what i think is a useless piece now which is the rnk named forge holster uh but you just need a tank build a very good tank build with hazard protection is going to help the main point of this will be the perfect vanguard you will want the scorpio on it as well make sure you've got a shield as a skill to proc that um perfect vanguard and i switch that emp out there and i go for a scanner pulse when i use this build again we'll explain as we go but that's all the builds that you're going to need 
So this footage now is from the first attempt that we did. And as I've already said, well, I hope I already said, uh, I did do a full guide blueprint if you need to know about this. You want to make sure that you're already accustomed to this incursion before attempting this. So I'm just going to give you a brief now of what we are doing with these builds. So we've got the three DPS builds at this point. We've got the one healer build and with the dps people make sure that you've got decoys on with the healer though they're going to throw a jammer pulse on instead of chems so just make sure you do that you're going to be using the jammer against the turrets this section here you all just want to run straight through it and go to the right and then when you get here throw a decoy out to begin with and then you're going to head to take out the tank here take the tank out very very quickly once he's done you're going to jump up and you're going to take out the right turret Easy as that. Have two DPS guys jump up. Have one DPS guy stay down. Just in case there's any more ads. Take out this turret. Use the jammer. Very easy. Easily done. Get down and then just clear ads. We go round the back at this point. So there's going to be some ads all around the area. Just take your time. This isn't a speed run. It's about not going down as a team. Just take all the time you need. Clear any ads that are around this back section. And we're going to do exactly the same again in this section here you'll have a decoy thrown out once a decoy is thrown out you'll be able to run up you'll be able to climb up on top of here hopefully the sniper gets out the way try and kill him before you get up and then again there'll be two of you or one of you just to take out this turret again just make sure you jam it if you can an emp works as well it doesn't have to be a jammer pulse i think someone was running an EMP on this one. But once you take out that turret, it's nice and easy to finish this encounter off now you just got to clear the rest of the ads without going down on to the next encounter and defending the oil tanker. Again, we're sticking one, with one healer and the three DPS builds. And we're having decoys, we're having striker drones. You can use foams if you want, shield, whatever you want. What you want to do to start this off, though, is make sure you take out all the explodables around the area. They can take you down in one if one goes off when you're next to them. So take them out now so they're not going to be a risk. And then spin this lever to get the fight started. And this is very easy. We're not going to spend a lot of time here. you just got to clear all the ad waves before the tanker gets destroyed there's going to be waves where there's marked targets and you've got to focus those marked targets i like standing around the middle here and kind of like running around all the middle area killing all the ads the best that i can one person will kind of focus the left side sniper and adds up there and the healer will stun the right sniper when it comes out as a mark target just to give us some time when needed and we'll go and finish off the top right when all the other enemies are done but you'll find your own way here it is as simple as just killing waves of enemies without going down and there's going to be a hive in the center of the area to get all of your heals I guess the only thing that can be a little bit tricky with this fight is the wave where you get the drones that spell bird when they do come out what we try to do is we recognize when that's happening and we all just retreat to the healer's hive because we're having those heals if we are getting bombarded by those drones we'll work on the two drones that come left first but these can sometimes not play ball and be awkward and if that happens it can make it a bit tricky i guess um what happens is when you kill three of the four drones you're going to get the next spawn of enemies in and they can be tricky if one drone is left alive. So you kind of want them all dead. So just kill all four as quick as you can at this point. And as soon as they're dead, just work on the remaining ad waves until they're done. With enough practice, you're going to be able to do this very, very easily. And at the final part, you've got one more tank that you need to kill at the door. Just throw a healer hive out. Have your DPS guys run up to the door and barrel roll past him. Make sure you've got enough health on the oil tanker. Shoot out his back tank to make his, him explode. Shoot his head. He dies that quickly. And you're ready to move on to probably one of the trickiest encounters of the incursion. This is now where we bring the tank build in. I'm going to be running this during this encounter. We'll keep two of the DPS. We'll have the tank and we'll have the healer. We're going to have decoys or striker drones and things like that. I'll run a scanner pulse though because it's good to scan the enemies when there's ads to clear. Now as the tank, what I'm going to do to make this very easy is I'm going to get the eye from right straight away so i'm going to go to the door i'm going to shoot him with a scorpion and get the eye once i've got the eye i'm just going to keep on running around the area letting my teammates kill all the ads and we're not going to try and do a damage phase on the boss until we've cleared all the ads and they do it all from that room there where right comes out of the healer hive there's restocks in here and where all the valves are so i'm going to keep on going 
And as I said, I'm not going to stop until all the ads are gone, which I think they're about to be done. And once all the ads are gone, we're going to start off on the stage. That's the one we're going to pull. We're going to get him wet on the stage. It's one of the easiest places to do to get damage in on him. So I'm bringing him to the stage. Now, the healer's going to hit the valve. I'm going to use my Scorpio to get him shocked. The healer's then going to try and throw a grenade on him to get the sledgehammer proc. And the DPS will try and do as much damage as possible. Sometimes you won't get the sledgehammer, but the second he goes after, you as a healer you need to start running try to just keep running in a figure of eight inside here so he keeps moving and you can get the first segment of his health bar down to where he kind of does a fart in one phase now what i'll do when he's immune is i'm gonna hit another valve like you just saw me do i normally do the one that's at the back of the room so left of that doorway there that's gonna make sure i have the eye again straight away when right comes back after us so because i've hit that valve now he's going to go and take a pipe out this gives him his like fiery um, attack back. But once he's done that, you'll notice I just got the eye. And to rinse and repeat, there's going to be more ads, so it's a little bit more difficult at this point. But I'll keep on proccing Vanguard as well. Forgot to say that. Every time you have Vanguard, proc it for your team. But just keep on running, keep on scanner pulsing, keep on Vanguarding, and it's exactly the same. We are going to keep going through this whole um, gameplay now, though, for the whole fight, because I know this is probably the most trickiest the next place we're going to take him for a damage phase once all the ads are done is booth so we're ready for that now i'm taking him to the booth i'm letting my healer know to hit the water the healer hits the water again i'm hitting him with my scorpio the healer will try and get a grenade to get sledgehammer not sure if he gets it or not but the second right is after the healer he's moving he does not want to risk the down you know you can take as long as you want doing this but you'll see again we had enough damage there we got him to the next sort of fart phase as we're calling it and i've just hit another valve the two valves i hit and rotate between is the one at the back where the record player is and bar because we're not going to use those points we're going to stick to stage and we're going to stick to booth so i've got the eye again because i've hit that valve i've just got to wait for him to go and hit another pipe so he's going to going to do that ads are going to spawn in a second and again this time is going to be the most difficult because we're going to get tanks as well but still the same process i'll keep on hitting vanguard for my team i'll keep on scanner pulsing i'll just keep on running around as a tank i can survive this it's not difficult at all the worst thing at this moment is running into fire that's on the floor you do, you can survive it but don't stand in it for too long you will die so i'll keep on running around and i've just noticed that the stage is back up and it's ready to go and normally you can get this done in three phases with enough damage especially if you get the sledgehammer proc so bringing him back to the stage now i'm gonna get him wet with the healer so the healer gets him wet i hit him with my scorpio again you can see it's exactly the same method all the way the healer might get hit here no he doesn't he got out of the way just in time and we're doing the same he'll do a figure of eight in this room we'll do as much damage as we can to right and if you're lucky enough, you'll defeat him at this point. Be careful of ads, though, because ads will spawn more frequent, and there's normally a tank that spawns. So he's just gone immune, though. No. As you can see, I'm hitting the valve again, so the eye is going to come back to me after he comes off his immunity and after he hits that last pipe. And we're nearly ready to finish this now. So it's the same again. No difference to what we've been doing. I'm going to take him for a jog around the area. I'm going to keep on hitting that vanguard and keep on hitting that scanner pulse, if I don't forget. And the final area we're going to use to cause damage is Boov. So once we're ready for Boov and all the ads are done, I'll take him there and we're going to finish this fight off. I can't tell you how easy this method made this fight. When you get used to doing this, it really is great. This tank method and just running around the room, it takes all the pressure off the DPS. They can just stay in there. It's really good. So here we are. We're ready to finish this fight off now. He's at Boov. The healer hits the valve. Got my Scorpio out. We'll still try and sledgehammer him, but he's going to be dead now. And once he's dead, if you do this um, within... They said if you do this within three um, phases, you get a collectible, a secret collectible, which we have done. There's going to be another video about that. But also, Venger, who played with us on this, we did it in four phases there, and he got the collectible. So maybe you got to do it in four phases. Just forgot I'd, I'd mention that. Boss is done, though. Ads are clear, and we're now ready for the last fight. So for the final boss, I come back off the tank build and go to my DPS. So we're back to three DPS and a healer again. The healer's got chems and a hive for heals. You want to use striker drones, decoys, anything like that just for a bit of crowd control maybe. Now the key here 
is to get Johnson dead in one phase on the damage phase. So we're working towards that and it'll make things so much easier. And when we go in, we send a healer and a DPS to the right side, right corner, and we send two DPS to the left side. One of your DPS, so in this instance, Dragonov is going to take Martinez's aggro. We're going to start the encounter off here. He'll take the red eye and basically run around that car and tank there and just keep Martinez all the way in the back corner so he's not an issue, or she's not an issue rather. Now, you want to dodge these mortars to begin with, and what's also going to happen here is four adds are going to spawn, two left, two right. Work on those adds as quick as you can, but be safe. So here's my two adds here. I'm going to take these two out. While I'm doing this, there's two adds on the right side being took out as well. And once all four adds are taken out, all you've got left is the two bosses. You'll have Johnson and Martinez. Martinez is sorted in the back corner, going round the roundabout basically just non-stop he's uh, she sorted and we just need to do some damage to get the drone destroyed so what's going to happen here is we'll find out which boss is taking the damage so johnson is and we'll do some damage to johnson until johnson calls the drone over and you want to try and destroy the drone as quick as possible we actually miss it here so we're doing damage to johnson johnson's going to call for the drone and then we're going to try and kill this drone if you don't kill the drone that's absolutely fine all you got to do is do damage to martinez now or whoever's taking the damage and get the drone to be transferred again which is what we do so we didn't manage to destroy it we're doing damage to martinez now and we're waiting for martinez to call over the drone from johnson and then we'll destroy the drone then so he's a she's about to call there we go the drone's gonna come over and we're gonna get that destroyed now once this is destroyed we'll be on a damage phase and we want to one phase it so we head to the middle the healer's gonna put a hive down they are also gonna throw a grenade to get the sledgehammer proc and then they're going to use their Scorpio to get the opportunistic and also the Scorpio benefits. This is all going to be done on Johnson. I'll throw a decoy out as well. And be very careful where Johnson throws the turret. The turret goes up top, you're absolutely fine. If it goes on one of the lion heads, you will have to all focus that as DPS players to get it down ASAP before putting damage in Johnson again. Aim for the head, they'll eventually put a box down, destroy that, and then finish Johnson off. This is what a one phase looks like, and if you can one phase Johnson, it makes things very, very easy. So there you go, Johnson is dead. The second Johnson's dead, run out. You want to dodge the mortars, and you want to head to the back of the area. Now, all that's left to do now is finish it off with no downs. And all you have to do is dodge mortars, kill adds, and do damage to Martinez. Now, Martinez ain't the easiest at this point, um, but this is how you do it. Just keep moving, basically. Now, I'll run around the area. We'll just dodge these mortars. We'll wait for the ad spawn. Just keep one eye on that top left corner so you see the red when the ads spawn in. Call it so your team knows and take out the ads. Snipers will be spawning at this point. Rushers will be spawning. Very important they take priority while you're dodging the mortars and you only really want to do damage to Martinez when the ads are all clear. So we'll wait for that. We'll wait to clear all of the ads and then we'll try and do damage to Martinez. At this point, no one's really kiting the boss. So you've got to be very careful that you're not too close to her. And if you do have the red eye, you just get the hell out the way. Don't risk it, okay? You're at this stage, you've got this far, you don't want to go down for just lack of discipline at this point. You have the red eye, get out the way, go and run around the whole area, do what you can. The healing hive is down here, just use that if you want to. I think I forgot to tell you where the healer places the hive, but they basically place it where the person kites Martinez at the start. And get heals when you need to. Ads will keep on spawning, mortars will keep on coming. Keep on dodging the mortars, keep on killing the ads, and in between those phases, keep on doing damage to the boss and restock when you need to. Dropping decoys are going to help. Having striker drones are going to help at this point just to take aggro. And when you eventually kill Martinez, there might be another spawn and some more mortars, so be careful of that. If there is another spawn of ads, take care of them. You'll finish the incursion, you'll have no downs, and you'll be rewarded with the right mask. Not only that, but for completing the right boss battle with no downs, you're also going to get this right, the Hellfire backpack trophy. So you're going to get this as well for doing this and potentially that one secret collectible also. I hope this video has been helpful. We put a ton of time in on stream to get this method down and I know it can be improved, but it's our first go at it. It's our first way of doing it and it's a method for you guys to try and it really is quite comfortable when you get used to it. I'll work on creating some more builds now to make this even more comfortable without any of the cheese methods and when I have them, I'll let you know about them for sure. 
And if today's video has been enjoyable, do hit that like button. Subscribe for more content from myself. Go and check out my other content also. And come into our community. We're going to be helping with this in our Discord. It's all linked down below in the video description. You need help with this incursion. We'll help you through it, help you get the exotic. Maybe even help with this mask when teams get familiar with it. It's the place to be. Come and check us out. Until next time though, thank you for watching this video. Stay safe and peace out. Thank you.